Hey, Amelia Mosley here. Let's see what's in the news today. An American explorer has just made history with the deepest dive ever by a human in a submarine. The expedition's uncovered some amazing new species, but also a few things you'd hope you wouldn't find in the deepest parts of the ocean. Surface. Boys and girls, welcome One, to the deepest zero, part of the ocean, niner, the two, Mariana eight, Trench. Meters. The voice you can hear belongs to at American bottom, explorer Victor Vescovo. He boarded a special sub which was built to withstand huge amounts of pressure. That's because the deeper we go, the more pressure our bodies would feel. If we go too deep, we would be crushed. On average, most recreational divers will go as deep as 40 metres, but Victor's mission took him a staggering 11 kilometres down. On this expedition, the team's seen a bunch of amazing deep sea creatures, like arrowtooth eels, cusk eels, which seem to have see-through heads, and this ghostly looking blob, thought to be a new species, never before seen by humans. Unfortunately, the team also made another unwanted discovery. Rubbish in the deepest point in the ocean. Showing that the world's ocean plastic issue may be even bigger than we think. Victor says this dive is just the beginning and he wants to explore the deepest places in all five of the world's oceans. It's been 50 years since humans first set foot on the moon, but it's only now that scientists are getting around to studying some of the precious samples we brought back. When man first landed on the moon in 1969, Neil Armstrong was told to pick up as many interesting moon rocks as he could carry. The massive collection has helped scientists find out things like how old the moon is and what it's made of. But there's still more to learn. So NASA's opening up three new frozen vacuum-packed samples that have never been touched, and they only have one chance to study them while they're fresh. NASA says it was waiting for the right scientists with the right technology at the right time. Huh, let's hope they make the most of it. People using the popular messaging app WhatsApp have been attacked by a group of hackers. Earlier this month, some users received a call and even if they didn't answer, surveillance spyware was installed on their phones. WhatsApp is used by 1.5 billion people around the world. But don't worry, experts reckon only a very small number of people were affected. WhatsApp says they've now fixed the problem and that people should update the app on their phones just to be safe. Big soccer awards, some daredevils in Russia and a very muddy competition. It's time for sport. Soccer stars hit the red carpet in Sydney for the Dolan Warren Awards. Wellington striker Roy Krishna took home the Johnny Warren medal for A-League Player of the Year. While best player in the W League went to Christine Nan who scooped the Julie Dolan Award. The third International Highline Festival has just wrapped up in Russia, featuring some impressive tricks by a few of the world's best and bravest daredevils. The event is definitely not ideal for people scared of heights. And finally, about 300 costumed competitors in the UK coated themselves in some gross-looking sludge for the Mountain Mud Race. The event is all about raising cash for charity and having a bit of fun while you ruin your clothes. I was wearing a costume at the beginning. It lasted about 10 yards um, and I finished the race without a costume. So it's all good fun. According to this guy, the event is also apparently very, very exhausting. For our next segment, here are a few things that seemed like a good idea at the time. What's the simplest, most practical way to cut 10 minutes out of your commute? A 38 metre slide, of course. At least, that's what a council in Spain thought when they built this, to travel between two streets. Problem is, well, just watch. Yeah, the slide's been closed after just 24 hours and several injuries. You know what's funny? A magpie that can perfectly mimic sounds like a horse neighing. Fiona in Adelaide discovered this native bird's natural talent recently. But you know what's not funny? When that same bird freaks you out by mimicking an emergency siren. Cops in the US weren't very amused to find this big fella walking the streets. The pet emu had apparently done a runner, but authorities managed to catch up with the cheeky bird and escort it safely home without ruffling too many feathers. 
Well, that's just about it for today, but let us know, would you rather go to the moon or the bottom of the ocean? Comment below. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.